everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here then welcome my name is beth and yes we've got a cozy setup and i'm really hoping my vagina does not fall out i have got shorts on by the way but it's always a risk Hope everyone is doing well i thought today as it's a sunday and we're all in self-quarantine well we should be don't start me on you people that aren't I thought I'd do a bit of self-care Sunday. I have bathed, I've had a face mask on, I've moisturised, I feel like a newborn and this light is doing absolutely nothing for my tan. Welcome to my bedroom. I'm at my home in Warsaw and yeah, it's still really weird being back. It's two weeks today since I arrived home and it's really strange. I'm still not quite with it. But we're going to get there. The first thing I'm going to start with is my hair. I'm just going to put on some coconut oil onto my hair. Now this is one I actually got from Vietnam. I literally smother it over my, ba um, over my baby. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> smother it over my baby. I definitely don't have a baby. But I do smother it over my body. It's just the best thing for absolutely everything. I put it in my eyebrows. Put it in my eyelashes to strengthen my eyelashes. And my eyebrows. And it just does the trick. Um, so I definitely recommend getting some coconut oil and I also put this on my skin which I will do um, later because it really helps with spots and breakouts like it's the best thing for me I don't think it works for everyone because I've heard that you can some people do actually break out with coconut oil so sorry huns sorry I'm just gonna put it all over and then wash it off in the morning so I'm gonna look really greasy i'm gonna just use my, uh, my micellar water i think that's how you say it anyway this is the nivea micellar air skin breathe expert makeup remover now i obviously i have obviously removed my makeup as you saw in the earlier clip i've been using superdrug skincare it's my it's an amazing amazing skincare i'd recommend it to anyone looking for a new cheap affordable really good quality skincare it's amazing now i don't know if it's cruelty free let me check it's the naturally radiant um collection which is honestly amazing so if you're looking for new skincare and you can order it online for all you huns that should be staying in yes it's vegan and cruelty free so everyone get onto that if you're looking for a good um makeup remover then i always go for micellar water always it's just the best thing in the world. I might put this light back on because this doesn't look, that looks a little bit better. That looks nicer, less dark. Yeah, but honestly, I had a massive breakout not long ago while I was in Vietnam. And then I started using this and it completely cleared it up. Really such a good micellar water. It's sensitive as well for everyone that's got sensitive skin like I have. And also I'm gonna tint my eyebrows because beauticians and everyone are closing i feel like it's the right time to just do them at home and i know that my beautician friends aka abby i'm sorry will be like don't take me out of business but when they do close you don't want to be losing your eyebrows and especially not me because my eyebrows are ginger and quite frankly i don't I'm not here for that. Them amazingly, but I have tinted my eyebrows the whole time I've been away travelling on my own because when you don't trust anyone with your eyebrows, it's it's a hard life. Actually, using the um, Eye Law. This is the Eye Law London. It's called Dip Brow, I think. Um, but it's amazing for me. It lasts about. Mm, I'll probably say about two weeks in the shade dark brown and it's perfect it is perfect 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 if you just want to tint your eyebrows at home or tint your eyelashes at home then this is really so simple it is so simple I'd recommend it for anyone who is going through a bit of a time at the minute where you can't go to beauticians etc if your beautician is open then amazing great for you but not everyone is open right now so yeah 
you can order this off Boots. It's a super jog. It's eight pound, I believe, which is seems a little bit spenny, but for just two things. But you get two thing, two of these. So this is the activator, and then this is the color cream. And you get two, uh, you get one spoolie and one mixer. But I've lost them in my travels, so I'm going to use this guy, which is not going to be the same. It explains it all in the instructions anyway, and I do it a little bit differently to the instructions because it's what I'm used to now. So you just get a small, wow, small bit of that on there like so. And you can use, it actually does come with a little plastic dish, but I didn't keep that because of traveling. And then you take the activator, as you can see, looks a bit like poo. And then you drip. Oh, there she is. You drip a few drops. I hope you saw that. You drip a few drops onto that. I always press down like this. Now this is not professional tint guys, it's not going to be as good as the salon, there's a reason for that, it wouldn't be £8 if it was as good as the salon, but in the meantime, if you're looking for a quick fix, a really simple quick fix, it does the job. I just don't like people touching my eyebrows, because I'm really chuffed with how they are. Because I was ginger, I was! <laughs> because this one time I was ginger. At school, I didn't go through like the plucking phase that everyone went through where they went hard at their eyebrows um, because you couldn't see my eyebrows. So I'm really thankful for that period of my life because it means that they're still there. Before I apply this, I always put a barrier cream on. This is the Miracle, Miracle Cream by La Cura. I don't know if anyone's actually heard of this, but La Cura is the Aldi brand and um it is the dupe of elizabeth arden eight hours cream and the eight hour cream the eight hour cream sorry <coughs> my voice rona is that you <laughs> the eight hour cream is amazing it's very expensive but it is one of those creams you can literally use for every, everything and anything it is amazing so this is the dupe of it and it's so much cheaper and it's just as good. It smells exactly the same and is the same consistency. Um, and you can use it on your lips, on dry skin, chapped areas, anything. It's amazing. And you can use it on your eyebrows, in your eyelashes. Yeah. Using this for is as a barrier. So you don't want to get any of the dye onto your skin. So I just use this. But you can also just use um, petroleum jelly like Vaseline or anything that's gonna be a barrier. I feel like everyone needs to have a bit of self-care, self especially at the moment. Put a face mask on, have a really nice bath, listen to a good podcast, read a good book. I need all the help I can get until I go back to work and then I'll need even more help. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take the spoolie. I don't know why I said it like that. Spoolie! <laughs> Just dip it. There's not very much here, I could have done more. The spoolie that they actually give you is so much better than this one. This is just one that I found. Yeah, I just brush. And if you get it on your skin, then it's okay because you've got the barrier cream. Start at the edge of my eyebrow, as I do when I'm putting on normal product. Just brush that through. Um, because I want my arch and the rest of my brow to be darker than the inner corner. <sighs> Hello. Hello everyone. Go under with a, um, a clean Q-tip and just clear it up. Um, obviously, the lo however, you however long you leave it is however intense it's going to go. Um, I think it does say on the pack eight minutes, but I've got really, really fair hair. Uh, so I always do like 30 minutes if they haven't been tinted for a while or 20, it's the 20 to 30 minutes. So yeah. And then I just put the excess on my eyelashes, which is a little bit, sorry about that, which is a little bit naughty because it's obviously for your eyebrows and there must be a reason that you shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I've got the worst like ginger tips, it's ridiculous. Like they just need to go. 
I used to get so like insecure my ginger eyelashes and my ginger eyebrows it's crazy and I probably just carried it with me now but actually I just feel like I just suit this now I used to just be really bad with makeup is it in general hold on hey siri set timer for 20 minutes your timer is set for 20 minutes thanks i'd be so like insecure about not wearing makeup and i literally would go i would i'd i'd go to the shop with makeup on i would always have to put makeup on i couldn't go anywhere i'm so glad i'm past that now look and i would never have expected myself to be posting youtube videos without makeup on which is pretty much 90 percent of my videos are me without makeup on <laughs> i said myself that now i go out without any makeup on at all and just let people see my face so yeah, if anyone out there is feeling really insecure about without makeup on, then honestly, give yourself time. Give yourself time. Do little baby steps as well. Don't expect that you're going to wake up tomorrow and just be able to walk out the house. Like It, it, it takes a lot to get there. By using um, a BB cream, I definitely recommend that um, instead of foundation. Just try and reduce the amount of makeup that you wear. Um, one, it's really good for your skin, and two, it was really good for your confidence. So just start reducing the amount. So when you do go to the shops and stuff, um, if you do want to not wear makeup and you want to get confident without it, um, go for something lighter like a BB cream or even just a tinted moisturiser. I definitely recommend trying it because honestly, it's made me feel so much happier in myself just the fact that i can do this and that i'm posting looking ridiculous i'm gonna paint my nails i'm gonna go for this brown color i was gonna go for black because that's how i feel <laughs> but then i thought no i'm not very good at painting my nails well tell a lie i actually am but my issue is that i'm very impatient so the, i don't know if anyone else is like this the minute I've painted my nails, I think of all the tasks that I need to do. And it's not like their way. It's like, you need to do that now. And then I just smudge them. I'll show you as well what a few skincare products that I've been absolutely loving. Um, obviously, like I said, uh, Superdrug. I've got another Superdrug product here, which is amazing. This is very similar to the Pixi Glow Tonic. And it's so much cheaper. So this is called the Naturally Radiant Glycolic Glycolic Tonic and Glycolic Acid. And it's like a toner, which I'm going to use in a second. And basically, instead of me sitting here trying to explain glyconic, I'll read it out to you. Which retexturise the skin surface, helping to fade pigment irregularity. Uh, huh, helping to fade pigment irregularities and smooth fine line and wrinkles for a brighter, youthful complexion. Now, that's a mouthful, but honestly, this is amazing. You just get like a really bright glow once you've used it, and I definitely recommend trying it. And I'm usually Superdrug have an offer on for their skincare. So, oh my god, I dropped my mouth on it. Oh god, I'm so clumsy. This is a really nice colour. Thought I'd do. I've seen people asking, like doing the, like the get to know me questions on YouTube. So I thought I'd answer some of those. Look so dark when they're doing, when they're trying to set. So don't panic. It doesn't look this dark when you take it off. Please don't panic. So the first question is, where did you grow up? So I grew up in Warsaw. It's half an hour away from Birmingham, which is why I've got this beautiful accent. How tall are you? I am five foot four or five foot five one of the two dogs or cats cats absolutely every day of the week what year were you born i was born in 1995 a 90s hon and my birthday is on tuesday oh, woo. 
it would be like a woo if I was actually doing something but quarantine you in Sasha have you gone to college no I'm not in college no I did not go to college well I suppose this is English it, this is American isn't it I went to university and I studied nursing and I am a pediatric nurse what's your favorite drink my favorite drink Diet Coke or coffee, because I love coffee. Coffee is the greatest thing that has ever existed in this entire world, apart from myself. <laughs> um, what is your favorite m movie? So my favorite movie is probably Notting Hill. I love that film. I love that film. I could literally watch it over and over on repeat what's your go-to hairstyle it is oh see i've smudged already my go-to hairstyle is a slick bun because i hate my hair being on my face do you have any bad habits mm. no i don't have any bad habits i am perfect um <laughs> What is your favourite genre and film of film? Genre of film and why? My favourite genre of film is romance because I love love. Like I love love. Oh, I feel like it's time to take these off. Okay, I've got three minutes. I'm gonna go take these off and then I'll be back with you and then we'll finish my skincare. To take the eyebrows off, I literally use two cotton pads and you run some warm water and just keep washing gently. So yeah, you'll see the transformation soon. She's finished. Now, I hope you can appreciate that. It was the perfect amount of time for me, but obviously for some other people, I'd recommend doing it less time. But yeah, these are, so you can still see that I've got ginger eyelashes in there. But for now, it's going to do. Let's carry on into skincare. Now I'm going to use this. Once again, I use it on a cotton pad. <gasps> that was too much. Oh, well. Ah, well. Now I'm really chuffed with my eyebrows. And I always brush them up as well after. This is beautiful. It really, it tingles your skin. Can you see the glow that I've got going on? It reminds me, I have actually tried the Pixi Glow Tonic. And it does remind me of that. I'm sorry, I haven't got a bra on. You as well. The, the face mask that I used today was the Innisfree. The brand that I always go on about. is Innisfree Super Volcano volcanic pore clay mask it is absolutely amazing i'll see if i can link it below i've already used a lot of it but it's so good this is a free sample so i definitely definitely want to purchase this if i can i've been using these this is in is free it's a capsule recipe pack so these are sleeping masks and they have lots of different ones this is a seaweed one i think this is for moisturizing but they're all a little bit different they were a pound less than a pound no they were a pound each for these little capsules and they do actually last really long because you can re reseal them and there's lots of different ones as well and you just wash it off in the morning so i put a little bit thin layer on which i've been doing the last few nights um and wake up in the morning and wash it off which is amazing so the moisturizer that i've been loving at the minute this is actually another asian product but i'm pretty certain you can get it over here this is the himalaya nourishing skin cream and this is i can't remember what it's called it's aloe vera i think it is anyway, now aloe vera is absolutely amazing for your skin so any products with aloe vera in are gonna be good because it's anti-inflammatory so it's so so good for your skin honestly which is why i use it for sunburn because it is anti-inflammatory but it's got so many so many properties and i definitely definitely recommend trying just putting some aloe vera on your face as well if you're having um if you've got uh, any redness or any soreness try putting aloe vera on it and if you're on holiday and you get sunburn not that anyone's going on holiday anytime soon but if you do get sunburn put it in the fridge and whack it on that sunburn and you'll feel like a newborn baby it's all aloe vera and winter cherry and it's beautiful it smells so nice 
I'll see if I can link it down below and see if you can get it because it was super affordable. <gasps> oh no. And I'm going to use my trusty eye cream, which I was banging on about before. This is the Revitalift Eye by L'Oreal because my eyes are getting wrinklier by the minute as I'm nearly 25. I'm going to put it on my smile lines as well because that's where I keep getting creases. I'm a glowing hun. Now, I really hope that you like that video. I know it was a little bit random, but I just wanted everyone to kind of think about doing these little treats for themselves. Do a little bit of self-care. It can be any day of the week, any time that you do have. Take it to spend it on yourself because you can't give anything out if you're not giving something to yourself. So be kind to yourself in this time, guys. Get some new skincare on the go. And yeah, it's really therapeutic as well, I just find. And having a bath and unwinding is just the best thing. So I hope you like this video, guys. And I hope you like me waffling about products. And if you want to see more like this, then give it a like and give it a comment. Because I really appreciate it. It supports my channel. Thank you so much for all your support and your kind, kind words. And thank you for all the love on the previous videos. It means the world. Have the best Wednesday. Take care, guys.